So what I'm doing here, so these are my, my Cecropia cocoons. Pretty cool, isn't it? So the Cecropia is North America's biggest moth. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna gently separate one of them because there's three all attached to the same branch or relatively speaking all attached to the same branch. I think. Okay, so I'm gonna put these two back. I'm not gonna open all of them. I'm just gonna open one of them. Just to make sure they're all they're all okay and they're forming correctly. So I put I put sticks in here so when the moths um when the moths come out they have something to grab onto. Um, because like butterflies, they have to dry their wings. So the cocoon itself, the moth actually isn't in the cocoon. Well, it is, but it isn't. So you know, butterflies form chrysalises. They uh, form that hard little chrysalis thing that you see. Moths are a little bit different. Moths. They do form a chrysalis, uh, chrysalis, but it's actually inside this cocoon. So that's what I'm going to look at right now. I'm going to take a couple pictures of that too. So pardon, forgive me while I'm going to take a couple pictures of this cocoon now that I got it somewhat loose. Just a minute until I get back to you. So I got these guys, when did I get them? I got them last fall. Um, so they they stay in the crystal, they for, so about, about two weeks, two to four weeks after I got them, um, they stopped eating and they, I actually got video of it, um, of one of them forming its chrysalis, of its, it's a cocoon I should say, sorry, I'm mixing up my terms. Um, so usually you can keep them in the freezer or the fridge all winter and then um, bring them in about May 1st is what I was told. It really depends on how warm, warm it is, but you want to keep them cold so they don't emerge too early. Because obviously there's not going to be any other moths for them to mate. I want to take some picture of that. Anyway, back to the, um, let's see, never done this before, my, but my friend raises these and gently start peeling off the layers of gently separating the sticks. But I mean, they're cecropias are silk moths, and believe me, the silk is actually stronger than it looks. Okay, so that's one stick off. Cool that is. Now the hard part. Strong. I told you the stuff is like plastic. The way it um way it sticks to itself. Okay. 
Okay, got one part of it. Okay, part one. That, no, I gotta open that one. Let me take some pictures of that now, because I like documenting things. A second get right back to you in a second Okay, back to it. Sorry about that. I like to document things. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna peel this part off. Actually, what it really reminds me of, um, and it actually feels like paper, um, like the paper tape. So like I said, the, um, with a butterfly, they kind of their insides kind of just liquid, and they turn into mush. Um, with a with a with a moth, they turn into a um, a chrysalis, and then they and then they make a cocoon. I don't know exactly how it works, but um, but this is actually what the 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 cecropia is in right now, which is kind of cool. It feels. Like the stuff that you put on the bottom of your chairs um, to prevent the floor from scratching up. I'm not gonna get some more pictures of this because it's cool. Okay, let's get on with it. I said I've never done this before, so you gotta be really careful because the chrysalis is in here. So I'm gonna open one, one end of it. Oh, I see it. Oh, I see it. Get rid of some of that silk. Oh, I see it. There he is. And that looks to be his head. So now I gotta take some more pictures because. Oh, 
crap, now my SD card is full. Sure it's bright enough so I can see actually see inside the sorry back with it now but as you can see there he is I think that's his head facing us actually so I'm gonna be really careful about ripping the rest of this off maybe I can get it, just get him to slide out oh look at that Look at that. Look at that. He's perfect. So about May 1st, I'll bring them all in. And uh, he'll come out. That was part of him. That he shed when he created the cocoon which is kind of neat but anyway i hope you enjoyed this educational tutorial and so i'm sorry for the interruptions and stuff but of course i have to get pictures of this talk to you soon